and we are live. Hello, everyone. So we got uh, Rob commented a while ago. Yes, he did. And boot knife. We love it hats and nice. cats. <laughs> Perfect. And Deep South Alabama has the popcorn ready. Oh, well, good. That's good. We don't have I've our already. Hat. I've already started working on her hat. This is Phyllis's hat, and it's going to be this color, gray. So is. Oops, more people come. But yeah, we're just going to sit here and watch me make a hat. There we go. There, All right. She's popped up now. Yep. We had to. Hey, Madunanda's there. Hi, Marunanda. And speaking of hats, we should be wearing our, our Madu hats. Yeah. Yeah, she made us a couple of hats. They're pretty awesome and very, very warm. Mind very you. warm. And yeah. yeah, they're great hats. And there is there is curmudgeon. Hi, Rob yes. and Sarah. And Ashley. And Ashley. And <laughs> Ashley. Mountain Mariner. This is great. Hats, Hats and chats, cool cats. That's <laughs> us. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ed's not home yet, is he? I don't think so. You're not home, are you? Yet, Ed? <clears throat> I was talking with him yesterday and might be picking up a snow machine. Are you going to want me to test drive that for you, Ed? <laughs> at all? I no. mean, I can pick it up. Cat, hats, cats aren't hats. bad. I am a cat person. I am a dog person. I am too. I love Maybe. cats. Cats yeah. take care of cats take care of rodents. Yes, they do. <laughs> I'm glad they yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, we're only we for the first this is one of the first times we haven't had a cat and we've got a small place and three dogs and one of the dogs is very not cat friendly. <laughs> and I just I'm not going to do it. I'd almost have to have the litter box in our bedroom in order to keep it away from him. I... And I'm not doing that. No. Big family expedition. Great. Thank you awesome. for coming. Hello. Thank you for there being in. Be, there, there may be more, some more people that uh, want these hats too. Because oh, seeing, yeah. seeing how fast I make these, usually a hat takes me about two hours, a little over two hours to make. And you just hook these over what you're doing is you're taking the bottom one and pulling it over the top and as i get going further i'll be able to show you that it is considered a knit stitch because knitting is you have the v on the front side and yep. as you can see here that's oh, a pearl yep it's a huh. it's a bump on the on the inside now nice. i could i could do a rib stitch but it's a lot more time consuming doing that and this makes it so much faster i've even made those long christmas stockings that's an eight hour hat no oh, oh, okay because as you're making it you do 30 rows for the band and okay. then you bend that over and then you have to start here separating on each side and then counting Okay. It's a lot. It's a lot of work to make a Santa hat. Right. Where huh. can we awesome. find that thing? You are. Well, I have not been able to find another forty-eight peg. This company is no longer in business, but um, I'm still looking for one that is a forty-eight peg. Um. Honestly, we get quite a few of those in the thrift store, so. Well, if you can find a 48 for me, because the 42s aren't big enough for adults' heads. Okay. Okay. I, 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 need, a, I need one that's a 48 to be able to fit larger okay. heads. Now, I can use the 42 for our seniors because people, not us, but that are older can use the 42 peg. But yeah, 48 pegs would be nice to have a second 48 peg because as you can see, they break. I had to put two new colors from another loom in this. So those are replaceable? Yes, you can. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I took a, a small one apart, and uh, it was a 
a baby, one of the small baby looms. And I pulled those pegs off. Now, these aren't exactly the same size as these, but I'm still able to use it and it still works. Okay. And you see, we got Wilson on there saying, Heidi Ho neighbors. Hi. Ashley Anderson. <clears throat> Horror and him. Yes. And you should be able to find them pretty much anywhere, right? Walmart. Yeah, Walmart Walmart has them, but as you can see, if I had the other looms here, this is a much tighter space between here than okay. what than what these are. It's um it's a lot closer. Hmm. If I had the other other looms up here, I could show you the, the difference. They're much further apart. This one's, like I said, the other ones I can put my finger through there. These I can't. Okay. So, so that's it, like a, a denser hat? Yes. yes, it will. Do you find that it uses quite a bit more material? Not really. Okay. Hmm. Because the the yarn that I use with this, it's called it, the brand is called Karen. And on the package, it says that one scheme will make one hat. Using it the way that I do it, it almost makes three hats. Oh, Oh, really? Hmm. Yes. Interesting. Huh. You don't have to get from another one to uh, finish it out. Yeah, we're kind of just keep pushing them down. And how I usually count my rows is I'm going to do um, 22. So that would be six six rows right now so oh, 20 yeah. be 10 what i do is i count twice because usually what i do is hi scott's life thank you for coming yeah definitely cordless tool i love cordless tools <laughs> <laughs> makes things nice yeah. Makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? It oh, does. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I like I like DeWalt. Old school Alaska. Great to see you here. Everybody's Thank gonna you. get addicted with my the way I make hats. I've never made one that's crocheted, you know, but I've always done it on the round round looms, which is called knitting. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is considered a knit. Come on, get over there. But yeah, this is the, the hook that I use to pull the bottoms over, bottom yarn over. And it just keeps adding to this. Hmm. Yeah, I have never used one. Like I said, I see them. They come through the thrift store all the time, but I've never, never tried one. They, that... They have these ones that people say, oh, I could get this one that cranks. There is one thing that I've seen about those is sometimes it drops a stitch. And I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back through this. This I can see what I'm doing. And if it's, if I don't have one in front of here, I don't pull that peg. I don't pull that yarn over. Okay. This definitely tells me that. Each one is hooked together. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. I do make blankets, but I do it in crocheting. One of my, uh, the last blankets that I did, if you go over to TN Fish Keeper, uh, on one of his lives, we I went up on his live, I did a seashell stitch. No. Oh, and it was my first time doing a seashell stitch. And it was a puff. They called it a puff seashell. I am not going to mess that up. <laughs> mm. That uh, I made that um, that blanket for his mother. And mm. the, the way it's done is that on that blanket is you end up to make that puff is you go into the back stitch and hook that back stitch to go into the seven to do the seven 
stitches and it puffs it out where the puff is on both sides. So that blanket is very warm. Oh, I bet. Yeah. You know, it has this pillow, pillow effect. Yeah. I've got, a, I've got a picture on my phone of that blanket. It took me a month. Uh, there is one blanket that I sent to um, the budget prepper, Natasha, mm -hmm. that it was just the stitch that I usually do. And I got it done in five days. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so how long, does it, how long does it take Rebecca to, to make a hat? Typically RM is asking about uh, a little over two hours. Okay. Just a little over two hours for one hat. You know, you just kind of get in the, in the zone. Usually when I do this on my live, I let the people talk about their channel, but today I'm on theirs and oh. it's, it's okay. You know, I've made over probably 2,000 hats before I uh, started doing my YouTube channel. Oh, my. And things like that, that I, I made some through a humanitarian day, you know, okay. where we were making hats for newborn babies. Those are pretty quick, you know, where we take them to the hospital and the newborn baby would get a hat. And okay. you've got a different size loom for that, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Much, much smaller. Let me see. Here. There's P&J's Homestead. Hi, P&J's Homestead. Let's see. Nice. So two, four, six, eight. Okay. So you're saying that to, to do a bigger hat, you need more pegs. So, like, Rob would probably need, like, a 64 peg loom. <laughs> No, <laughs> I, I did. I did his with the same loom I'm using yours. Oh, yeah. oh okay. It's exactly the the same loom, and and he can definitely attest to that because he's seeing the same purple loom that I used for him. Okay, okay. It's just the men when I when I make the men's hats, is ladies get 26 rows, men get 28. Is longer. Okay. Okay. And also, once I get the band done, then I will do the. Um... <laughs> Looks right like now I'm, working on, I'm working on the band. Okay. How long, Rebecca, would you say it's been since you initially reached out to us to do this? <laughs> like four months or more? Yes. <laughs> Yes, it was like, okay, what's, what's this going to happen? And when you went live that time, I was like, I've got to ask that question again. Come on, let's get these hats done. And yeah. yeah, I know you, I don't know when it stopped snowing in Alaska because I've never been there. I was, well, was snowing somewhat. Uh, hi, Ashley Anderson. Great to see you here. Nice. Yeah, hi. they say in Alaska, April showers bring snow plowers. Okay. Because <laughs> that, that's about it's been snowing almost every day except for today. It's kind of like you've got a very short growing season. Yeah. I've been doing homestead adventures. Yeah. Yeah, it is a pretty short. And that's where the season. greenhouse <laughs> is definitely a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much mandatory. If you get like the first year that we had here. It started like July 14th. It started raining and it never stopped until it turned to snow. So. Well, I I remember watching that show, The Alaska, The Last Frontier. Yeah. You know, the Kilcher family. Yep. And they were talking about the pumpkins are still green. Mm -hmm. Yep. Y you know, they don't get orange. You know, so I'm trying to figure out, okay, is that pumpkin any good? I use 36 peg looms for Beanie babies. Beanie oh. babies. Wow. Oh. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. That's cool. Yeah, there's there's people. My dad always called these stocking caps. Yeah. I called them, I called them beanies. There's people that call them toques. Hmm. Yeah. Know, Canada. There. It's. I think it's all the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's just different. 
Yeah. Oops. It, I have bigger looms than this, but most of the time I have to really see the person's head to know if I have to use that really big loom. Uh, there's someone that his his channel is called uh, Tiny Tim Posey. Okay. I had to use I had to use the yellow loom, the big one, for him because this one wouldn't have fit. Oh dear. He's he's got a very very big head. Oh my, that's funny, PTL. <laughs> PTL, what'd you say? Big head when. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's awesome. Um, here's a link for PTL fabrication. Thank you, Ashley. Yes, thank, thank you very you, much. Ashley. Ashley and his lightning fingers. Yeah, he's he's the most incredible fast uh moderator Link. i've ever seen it's like he's got all the links all stored on his phone and he just transfers them over maybe that's that we would... never did ask him how he no. he he's magical it must be that new phone ashley right magic i always ashley. thought i always thought ashley was a lady yeah <laughs> now i know it's not definitely not nope <laughs> nope <clears throat> heck yeah yeah, I have a feeling he's probably going to put mine in. Oh, yeah, oh. he will. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he will. Yep, he definitely will. Um, You know, I'm kind of surprised the, uh, I told some of the people to come over here and... Haven't seen him yet? No, I haven't. I'm watching and... Hmm. I told... I told um, and maybe she's busy cooking, but... Um, Oh gosh, is making <laughs> uh, our treasured home. Okay. okay. Is Nancy. I'm not sure on the yellow loom. I'm not sure how many pegs is on it because it's, it's further apart than this one is. I mean, once I once I see the person, and most of the time, this 48 peg works for everyone. I know one time with um, Scott rambling with the brooms, broom, I made him a hat because I thought he had the big, you know, big head just like um, Tim Posey did. But he tried the hat on and it was too big. No. So then I then I used this loom to make him two more hats. It's like, okay, I misjudged your head then. Yes, it's, <laughs> yes, it's a little over two hours per each hat. <coughs> once once I get done with the band, then I I know how fast I can make the hat. The most of the time, it takes me a little bit more time because you're always counting to make sure you don't put more than what you're. You're supposed to. Right. You know, and then once you get started on the hat, it's like pretty quick. How did you get started doing this? Just. Well, it was because of a, a friend of mine. Uh, her name is uh, Laura. A church that I don't belong to anymore had a like a humanitarian day. And they, <laughs> I learned by watching not by doing so I was watching the other people do it and then I started making the hats and I made a whole bunch of hats that were sent to um, put in a big bunch and then sent overseas oh, oh wow. okay and I made I started making more of the baby baby hats to go to the hospitals in this area and then I started taking care of my mom and it kind of went by the wayside until she she passed. And then I needed to do something that kept me busy because I am disabled. Okay. Um, I don't work outside the home. And I take care of my um, my brother that has autism. We live together in this house that was our, our mother. She bought this house. And... Uh, when she passed before she did, she did a quick claim deed to me. Okay. Oh, okay. Now my house, which I'm grateful because I don't know what we would have done. Right. 
<laughs> you know, so. It almost looks like that would <clears throat> that would give a person carpal tunnel syndrome. It it doesn't. Huh. It really surprises me that it hasn't caused me a lot of wrist problems. Yeah. Let's see how many rows we've got now. Big family, yeah. Yeah, big family. The they, they've been pretty awesome. They've been on all of our lives lately, and it's it's kind of cool to, to share a live like this with somebody like Rebecca. It's uh, 12 rows so far. Wow. wow. Except she's trying to count, and I'm talking, and right. she's going to mess her up. <laughs> Maru says that it's therapeutic. It it is. It keeps my wrist flexible. Sure. I, I have one. I have this wrist uh, on this driveway. I fell and fractured my radius. No. Oh. At an angle. Hmm. So I had to have a. I had to have a plate. Let me see if you can see the scar there. Oh yep. yeah. Yeah. That's. Not that was good. in 2013. Oh, our Emma is asking, do these typically unicolor or can you incorporate various colors and or designs? Yes, I can. Uh, not really designs. It's more I can change to a different color. You know, I might make, hi, Nancy. That's one of my friends is our treasure home just came in. But um, yes, I am going to be making a brim for this hat. Usually when you make these, you do 16 rows, but I found that when I seen the people that the, where it was supposed to be on their ear, mm -hmm. it wasn't wide enough. So yep. I've now widened the bands to either 22. I think there was one that I did 29 for belt loop 29 he wanted 29 on the band and 29 on the hat <laughs> oh i like it that's <laughs> it's like you're kidding me thank you for coming nancy yeah welcome to the live nancy that is that is awesome to have you in here <clears throat> if you don't know nancy we are <clears throat> in willow alaska um We've actually got some sunshine today, which is kind of nice because it seems to never stop snowing. <laughs> um, not that the snow builds up to anything. It snows every night and then it hits like 45 degrees during the day. Yeah. So it kind of melts every day about noon. Whatever you got the night before melts. And we're just waiting for it to go down enough so I can start making firewood for the year. Because this year is turning out, it's going to be a busy one. It's already busy. Yeah. 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 How With do you... How do you dry out your wood enough to be able to burn in your fireplace? Well, we built a significant um, wood shed. Some oh, probably okay. it's, it's it's probably nuclear bomb proof, <laughs> and we cut and split <clears throat> and stack all of our firewood in May, and that okay. way it can sit there all summer long and dry. And probably fifty percent of it is uh, dead spruce. Uh, so. She's Doesn't asking me a question. Uh, there is sometimes when I do a variegated yarn that has somewhat close that they have made a spiral, you know, where it's like, oh, my gosh, that's really interesting. Because sometimes I'll do this, this yarn as the band, and then I'll change to a, a variegated yarn oh. that makes this kind of this spiral, this pattern that just makes things look so different. So yeah, there's there's lots of different hats that I've made, and um, I now know how to make the pom poms. But there was the thirty that I made for my um, my giveaway that I didn't realize could come apart. So there may be some people that might get a little bit upset with me. <laughs> I use a I use a zip tie now. Okay. Instead of instead of string. Instead of the yarn, you know, for making these. No. Oh, it's right here. Oh, yeah. 
It is so great. But yes, they, I've got hats that I made that were um, this variegated yarn that uh, made this swirl that was so interesting. Hmm. And the, the yarn that I use is not polyester. It is acrylic. Oh, so okay. it, is, it is soft. Yeah, and for those of you wondering, I think um, Rebecca saw my head and felt sorry for us living in Alaska. She's like, my Lord, he needs a hat. <laughs> he needs a hat. Yeah. And I always wear hats, so. Yeah. It's going to, it gets weird in the spring when it's too warm to wear a hat. I always feel a little exposed for a while, and then I get used to it, but. It'd be good to wear in the summer to keep the mosquitoes off your head. Oh. That's what the hair is for. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> I think you'd be a little surprised at how thick my hair is. Yeah. It's just I, even though there's times that some of my hair does fall out, I do not R&M because I'm on disability. I have to be careful. People can donate to my PayPal because I did find out something. That if you put it under friends and family, I don't have oh. to pay taxes on it. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ed. It, it, it made it it made it really nice because I kept waiting for a 1099 to come from PayPal. Yep. Never did. And oh, when yeah. I when I went to do because being disabled, the property tax that I pay on this house by paying so, through Social Security. I get that money back. Oh, nice. And when I went in and talked to them that, you know, you get it free. Uh, you can go to a place that'll do it free with the students learning how to do it. And I asked him, I said, I printed off all the papers. And he basically said I was supposed to get it by February. And I never got one. Oh. And told him, he says, did they send it to friends and family? And I said, yes. He says it's a uh, gift. Mm. Nice. Well, that's it kind is. of good. No. Phyllis, you know? question. Do I? I always want more beanies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Definitely. I don't think I have enough to wear a different one every day of the week yet. No, and I I get a lot of free ones through work, so I'll have you'll see me wearing a Kenworth hat oh. or a, something like that. But they get. They're usually pretty cheap. You know, they're just the store-bought ones that say Peterbilt on them. And they get dirty so fast that you can't, uh, you can't really wash them. My, my channel name is Rebecca, the Hebrew spelling of Rebecca, touched by yarn. And my, uh, just go to my, in that section to my about page and you'll see the uh, PayPal. And if you want a hat, send me an email. My email is there. And we'll go and I'll make your hat for you. Yeah. Just make sure I have your address so I can send it. <laughs> yeah. But I don't I don't charge I don't charge for the gift I have been given. Okay. That's what that's not what this is about. It's about right. blessing people with something warm, you know, that warms their heads and yeah. Yeah, you could do like a hats across Alaska or something. There you go. <laughs> Definitely could. And it just makes yeah. things a whole lot nicer to um, being able to do this. It, it is. It warms my heart and it also warms the people once they get my hats. They're like, oh my gosh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. I we know Matt. Matt AK could have used one when he came up here and it was 52 <laughs> below in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. RM. Yeah. Rebecca has an awesome attitude towards doing this. And that's why we love doing this and being able to share her on our channel. Hopefully you guys will go back and check her out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, they, because of this being so tight, you guys can't see my channel, but yes, it is Rebecca. And it's, the touch to my yarn is all large letters, all caps. And it's the Hebrew 
spelling of Rebecca. Ashley or Rob, could you possibly share Rebecca's link, please? I think they had. Or, I didn't see it. Um, maybe not. We'll have to get that up there. Well. Okay, Rob's going to be sharing it in just a minute, Rebecca. Okay. Yeah, so people can <clears throat> connect with me and and get a hat made by these hands. <laughs> and, and you've done this for Rob and Sarah already, right? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. And I want to I want to get to one to alone. Definitely. Oh yeah. She needs she needs some hats. She does. Yeah, definitely. Yes, it it certainly is, and there there it is, and uh, oh, there yeah. you go. Yep, great idea, RM. He says this will be a great way to keep the clothing box in the back seat of the car stocked. Great for passing out to homeless folks. Yes, absolutely. I've I've also made hats for um, and Jane Doe. Oh, it's so good to see you here. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Good to see you in here. That's another one of my friends. She has gotten, when I did the, the 30 hats, she was one of the winners for the, the 30 different hats that I made. I made 15 for the ladies and, and 15 for the men, you know, because of the different sizes. And uh, she got a got a hat for me. And, awesome. Nice. Yeah. You know, and I don't know if you saw here, but here's your link, Rebecca. So anybody that uh, wants to check out her channel after this, Thank there you. you go. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. You know, just kind of uh, be able to. And there's, I've got not too many videos. I, I don't really do videos much anymore. I'm a little self-conscious about it. You know, and when you're sitting there making a hat for someone for two hours, it's, you know, I don't really want to cut it down because then you don't get to see the whole process and, and speeding it up. It just, it doesn't appeal to me. That's why I decided to start going live and just making the people's hats. Nice. And chatting. You know, while, they're, while they're watching me do it. And... Uh, Maru Nanda said she just subscribed. Thank you. Jane Doe says, Rebecca is so sweet. She blesses everyone with her beautiful handmade hats. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> and that's exactly what we need in this day and age. Yeah. Is some, <clears throat> a little bit more kindness and a little bit less spitefulness. Yes. It's kind of like the, the scrubbies that I'm going to be taking to, uh, Tin killer, and yes, my car will. I will be taking my car. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what kind of cost am I going to look at in changing out that timing belt when I have to? Because I don't think I'm going to do that job myself. Uh, I wouldn't. I mean, you can do it, but it's it's quite a few hours of being bent over the front of a car. Um, you're probably going to be, depending on who does it, in the five to seven hundred dollar range, and it's going to be the timing belt the water pump and the belt tensioner and any idler pulleys that are in there. <clears throat> I know when I bought my Toyota Camry, the one of the big sales pitches he gave me, yeah, we just put a timing belt in it. And I'm like, yeah, but you didn't do the water pump because I can see that right away. So when I opened it up to fix the oil pump, I saw that he also hadn't replaced any of the idlers and the bearings were all dry. And I'm like, wow. Man, I threw away the new belt that he put on there and did all new like you're supposed to. So. Yeah, I mean, it's when I had the, the V8 uh, Chevy 350 V8, as they call them, the 5.7, yep. uh, I changed when I did any alternator. I always changed the tensioner and idler pulley. Yep, you always at should. The, at the same time, and I always, because of the serpentine belt that they now do mm -hmm. on these, I replaced... Um, I always carry a belt Yep. with me. The thing that's really interesting about this car is there's two belts. 
Oh, two belts. So, well, it's got the timing belt and then the accessory. Now, belt. The accessory belts. There's there's two there. Yep. And okay. instead of one serpentine belt, I have never changed belts that were like that. Oh, okay. And it looked like there was this one bar that spreaded. Okay. That sits on that engine. Hmm. For you know, I guess that it tight. Or? I guess that it tightens it or something like that. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice comments coming out of people here. Um, just to cover a couple of them. Um, we'll go back to this one. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to make sure that these get Come on. get there the due attention. Thank um, you. So PNJ is just sub. That's awesome. Thank you. And RM here here regarding more kindness, it flows like ripples in a pond. And it really does. It does. Yep. yep. It does. <laughs> Medunanda is asking Rob if he's okay after his fall that he took in his last video. <laughs> That was like such an epic. He, he he told me he says I just kept laughing when I was watching it, and I was like, that could really get you hurt, you know. Right. Of course, a, a body that's in the in the sixth decade of life, no, I would have got, I would have gotten hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Rob is going to start wearing a helmet and all of this. <laughs> <He does. laughs> oh, I should see if I can find a nice one for him. Rob's saying bad things about me right now, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Homestead Living Alaska. Nice to see somebody making a hat with their own caring hands. Very special. Thank you for sharing. Awesome. Well, thanks for being in here, too, guys. Absolutely. 19, I've already got 19 rows on this. Holy oh, that's cow. great. Wow. Um. <clears throat> yeah, and if you guys haven't checked out Rebecca, her link is a few comments up. Uh, Rob was kind enough to share that. Thank you, Rob. Um, if you haven't checked her out, definitely check her out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Once I once I get started on the, uh, I'm going to 22 <laughs> rows on this, and so this is 20. So I have three more to do, and okay. then I'll show you how. I'm, I'm going to bend my camera down, the uh, thing, so I can show you how you uh, make the band. Okay. I have a second camera up here, but that requires having OSB, and I don't know how to use it. Oh. Gotcha. There's the link for Homestead Living Alaska. Thank you, Rob. They're, they actually have a very nice channel. Yeah. It's very family, and everybody's involved. It's great. Mm -hmm. Now, who was it, Rebecca, that you were saying calls you the yarn ninja? Belt Loop 29. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Now he's going to get a notification that I said his channel name. He's also got four other channels that I can't remember all of them. There's YouTube Police. No. Oh, and okay. YouTube. Right. YouTube is together. Police. Okay. Uh, there's... Uh, Belt Loop 29 Homestead and Belt Loop 29 Cute Critters. Hmm. I don't remember hmm. the other. Holy cow, he's busy. Right. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and there's another really nice comment from PTL Fabrication. Yes, what a nice person with a skill like that. I'm sure it took you years to make that look easy. I want one. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, email me and we'll get together. Outstanding. That is great. <clears throat> um, I wonder if Rob or Gary, Ash is, Gary is funny and his double talk is definitely. Is there a way to put Rebecca's email in here on a link, maybe, Rob? You could maybe. pin it, you could pin it at the um I don't have YouTube up, so I couldn't put my email in there but I'll add it to the uh afterwards. Yeah, once they go to once they go to my about page they will find it there. Okay. It is there at the bottom. Okay. You missed that big what? family expedition one. Oh. 
big family expedition i'm working on dinner here <clears throat> so i'm listening and watching in the background but we'll definitely check out your channel this evening rebecca thank oh, you great that's awesome p and j says hi sarah hi rob she is doing a great job i can crochet this looks like fun it really does look it like is fun mm -hmm. it, so it, it is so much fun there it is there's my email address nice Rob is saying Gary is funny. When him and Devil Dog get together, they bust on each other all uh, the time. <laughs> yes, they do. They certainly do. And Maru Nanda just subscribed to Homestead Alaska. He's great. That is great. Yeah, and it's we about, are... it's all about connecting. It is. It usually, is. usually I'll make I'll leave once someone has subscribed to me. I have a folder that says new family members. I don't think of them as subscribers. Right. right. They are part of my family. And I wait a couple of days and I'll watch, if they have shorts, I'll go and watch their short videos. Mm -hmm. Make a thumbs up and then a, a comment. And there's Rebecca's email. If you guys are looking for that and you guys are looking for a hat, that's a way to reach out to her. Now I'll count this and see if it's 22 and show you guys how to make the band. So P and J's is saying everything I crochet gets smaller and smaller. It yes. See, take a look. See, take a look at that. Oh, oh that's nice. great. That's what nice. it looks like. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. Yep, twenty. Okay. So what I'm going to do is see that one thing there is I pull that down in and then you have that very first row that I'm going to grab on those. Let me bring this up here. And what I do is I put that peg on one side, then the other. Now, this is what I need to show. I'm going to turn this around. Do you see that one that's laying back? Let me get that in front of the camera. See that one that's laying back? That is the first row that you put over the peg. Okay. So I just grab that loop at the bottom. Let me set this down here. I'm going to move my, my brother left a paper here. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down here. And here I go. Well, that's here we go. Can you see that? Yep. See yep. This one is back here, and you just pull it over and put it on that peg. I'm gonna set that down. I won't use that until I get almost to the end, and then you just keep putting them on the pegs. So I kind of pull that over. So when you buy one of these thing, looms, I guess we'd call it. Does it come with instructions that explains this or? It it does, but it's still, if the people don't know how to do this, they it doesn't really tell you how to make the band. Okay. So being able to see this, because sometimes people will do a pearl knit stitch around here and then this band doesn't get closed like this. Okay. You know, you see how wide that is? That's going to cover your, your ear. Hmm. And I just put it over each peg. In the instructions, they need to put, check out Rebecca Touched by Yarn for how to do. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. exactly. So I'm guessing I'm going to be putting one of these in the cart on Amazon? No, I can pick one up at the thrift store. Oh, that's right. You yeah. said you get them to come in there. Okay. Yeah. See, that's what I what I end up doing is I use this one for the very last one. Okay. See how wide, now let me bring this back up. There we go. Come on, stay up there. See how wide that makes that band? Okay. Yeah. And now what you end up doing, there was one time I didn't do this, is you pull the bottom one over. That makes that... Um, that band. There was one time I didn't do that where I just rewrapped it and I didn't like what it looked like. 
Okay. That I pegged over to. To me, it, it just didn't look finished. Yeah. I just seen just subbed. Yeah, the one you are very welcome, Paul and Jason. I don't know who that is. All right, I'm just sub to Rebecca's. I'm hoping that there will be a step-by-step how-to video. It kind of, because of trying to do this, of trying to video something like that, if it hat takes two hours, I don't know if someone's going to sit there and watch two hours of me making a hat on a video. And I don't know how to edit. <laughs> I'm an older lady. You know, I bet if I... If I sent the video to somebody, they could probably do that for me. Right. But I, I have no idea. That's why when I started, I decided to just start making the hats live with the people. And people got to connect with me and connect with the person that I was making the hat for. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Ashley is saying Rebecca needs a sponsorship from the company. I, I would say. Do you know? Company, I know this company is not bit in business anymore, and I'd have to probably have a channel. I mean, there's other people that make these hats also. You know, each person has their own way. I see Steve and Susie's Homestead is making a funny here, saying, I'm yarning to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So now I'm going to do... 26 rows. So, of course, half of 26 is what? 13. 13. So, what I end up doing is as I'm making the hat is I will put down the first one. I'll do 13. You know, I'll push down 13 on that first one. And then I'll do the second one. So, okay. it keeps me it keeps me attractive. Um, that's how I know that I've gotten everything done. Nice. You know, so it's just, I'm onto the hat now. So that makes that, see how much wider that is? When you do a 16, it's a lot narrower. It's not as wide. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, RM. Um, what? RM is saying that they will sit there for two hours and can find a bed 95% of the day. Oh, my. Well, this might be something super fun to do. Yeah, yeah. Definitely keeps you active. Yeah. There's lots of hellos going out there to Steve and Susie's homestead. Hi, Steve and Susie. It's great to... So, oh, did we... Uh... So they were asking about the yarning. Uh, Steve and Susie, she's making hats for Adam and I. Yep. Um, and we're watching her do it. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. And it's a great introduction to Rebecca, if you haven't mm -hmm. seen her. Um, she just, she saw our channel once and she felt so bad for me and my bald head in Alaska <laughs> that she started making hats. She's like, we got to help him. <laughs> I got to help him. He needs a warm head. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You get brain freeze pretty quick here in the winter without a hat. Yeah. Honestly, that is a thing because we've been snow machining or something, maybe riding four wheeler and a little gap right up here on your forehead will absolutely oh, give yeah. you an ice cream <clears throat> headache. Well, or a frostbite. <clears throat> um, like I usually wear a helmet when I'm snow machining just because I only have one, one brain to lose. So I'm going to try <laughs> to protect it. So, but if you have the slightest gap anywhere and you get a crosswind, you'll take your helmet off and your skin will be white there. And that's the preliminary signs of frostbite. Yeah. The oopsies. Wow. And once you get frostbite on a spot, you always, that's the first spot. It'll turn white as soon as it gets cold. Oh, not a problem. RM. RM saying, sorry, didn't mean that as a downer. Just meant to encourage Rebecca to post a long video as I would gladly watch. Okay. There you go. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, RM. It may be an ASMR, you know, and that would be that would be just fine. 
you know, it's, yeah. it's just sitting there making a hat and just kind of maybe talking a little bit. And, yeah. Cause it's once you, once you get in the zone of doing this, it's, you know, I've gotten better that I can look up and be able to still hook these over and not be just looking down. Right. I wouldn't there, be able to do that. I'd have a, my left hand would be covered with band-aids <laughs> from stabbing it with that hook. That's why I keep my, this hand is just holding and, yeah. And Madunanda just started a hat for Phyllis. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. See, you started a, a Sunday I'm afternoon doing. trend. Yes. <laughs> You're an influencer now, Rebecca. There you go. <laughs> In a positive way. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. It's like it makes so, things so nice. So how does the hat end up getting a taper to it? You can't always use all the pegs because it'd just be a tube, right? Correct. So once I get the 26 rows done, I will show you how I take it off. Okay. Uh, ASMR is where it's just silent and it may be music playing. That's okay. what an ASMR is. You know, where someone's just sitting there and they're being videoed and and showing something that they're making mm -hmm. i don't what know I, what the i don't know what the acronym means but i just know what an asmr is okay right i know lately when if if we have a video like a snow machining video that i find honestly particularly boring even after we create it i've been doing a voiceover which is kind of nice because you can detail what you're doing Yes. P and J's Homestead Adventure. You can't say that anymore, yeah. Mister Wilson. <laughs> Talking about Ashley Anderson. So, did anybody ever guess who was behind that fence? Yes, they did. Yeah, yes. they did. Yeah, some people are still guessing. I think uh, Robert Bartman thought it was maybe Matt A.K. But. Yeah, Matt, Matt A.K. was just up here not too long ago. I think he's coming up for the uh, YouTube meetup. Yeah. In June or July, whatever that is. I I don't know. Do you have a link for that, Rob? For the YouTube meetup here? Oh, okay. Auto. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Hmm. Wouldn't it be easier just to be a silent video? I mean, yeah. that would... That's why they call it ASMR, because right. nobody can pronounce all those words <laughs> in a row. Yes. <laughs> exactly, Ed. You're completely right. Yeah. Rob does not have a link for the YouTube meetup. Well, okay. They, there is a channel called uh, Web's Web that he has a thing i don't know how you would get to it but he has a thing of so people know when people are going live he puts okay. it up there for free so All that right. everybody can go to that calendar and be able to see when these different places are going live and also meetups to knowing when different meetups are going to be you send it an email okay to him. And you're able to get put on that calendar. Oh, wow. Which yeah. is so nice. Hmm. You hmm. missed Stephen Susie's. Oh. Out there. Stephen Susie is saying, my friend's mom can crochet while carrying on a conversation, watching the news and reading a newspaper. Yes. That's, That's how my mom is, too. <clears throat> well, no, hers is knitting. Yeah. That's some pretty serious muscle memory. Um. Madu, it was Ashley behind the fence. Yep, Ashley Anderson. Old school Alaska. Yep. And Ashley saying, Ed, I agree. Mountain Mariner is saying, I'm going to make another entry in my BOA, Book of Acronyms. <laughs> there you go. That's going to take a half a page to write all that down if, if it's a small book. Mr. Wilson. Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mr. So, what Wilson. was Mr. Wilson's actual name? Does anybody they, know that? They never actually showed him in the. No, but what was his like? What was his first name? 
Does no, I don't know. know. I don't. Know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I used to. I grew up watching that show. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Ashley's still. See now you can see the. You now you can see the hat being made. Okay. As it coming down. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Can't always blame the phone, Ashley. Right. <laughs> It's only good for like the first six weeks. <laughs> well, it's not even been six days, I don't think. Probably not. I think you got the phone right before you got on the plane. Yes, and that is Mr. Wilson. That was, that his, was first his first name. name. Okay. Right. I'm yeah. sure somebody's got to be Googling it here pretty soon. Probably. Yeah, it'll pop up. I don't I don't even know who the actor was. I, I don't know his name, but... I know who he was. He, he's pretty popular. Nice guy. Um, I can't think of his name, though. There we go. Earl Hindman was the American actor from Arizona. His most famous role was that of helpful neighbor Wilson W. Wilson Jr. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Now we know. Thank you for that, Rob. Thank you for that, Rob. It's like, oh, well. Wouldn't I'm, I'm that. pretty sure that sounds like it came right off Google search. Yeah. Mr. was his first name, Wilson, Wilson. W. Wilson Jr. That's hilarious. Wow. Okay. Do you see whose t-shirt I'm wearing today? I miss them being going live Sundays. Oh, Mount okay. MT Homestead. Homestead. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. Mountain Mariner. Wonder what the middle initial stands for, right? William. Yeah, probably William. Yeah. yeah. Not Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. But yeah, Rob, Rob and Sarah got to see their their hats being made, and yeah, and I, I'm yeah. pretty sure Rob wears his in his videos too, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Maybe not all the time, and. I know. What are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> Wallaby. Yeah. I say we don't have any of either of our Australian friends in here today. Um, <clears throat> Wallaby. Did we have that discussion? I don't know. We usually end up on our Monday Night Lives. On Rob's channel, they pick an animal to be the main source of discussion for the night, whether it be a wallaby or a what was it? wombat, a wombat with yeah. their cube poop. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the best part about that is EG wife hops in there and she's all full of all sorts of animal knowledge and she's just yeah. spitting facts left and right. It's hilarious. Yeah. Do, do, do you, do you know that uh, the only North American marsupial in the united states is mm -mm. it's a possum oh yeah possum is yeah a pop? yeah i've only ever seen one in real life they're they're kind of a neat critter and they're really honestly a helpful critter as far as eating ticks and uh and i think don't they aren't they known for they can't get rabies their body temperature is lower oh, okay okay yeah, so they, something, yeah, viruses don't hang out with them. Right. Yeah, that is, that is pretty cool. Yeah, they're a neat animal. Yes, it was the wombat, Ed. Yes. <laughs> yes, and oh, the possum, you're right, Steve. Yeah. Or Susie. Or, or Susie, both. yeah, we don't really know, do we? Right. Are you both watching? And I'm, get, and I'm guessing that you, they, they don't have, opossums up in alaska no there was a, <laughs> there was there um, was a big story about one that hitchhiked on a ship down by homer and actually had a bunch of babies too wow. and yeah and they actually captured it and i think it's in a zoo or something either in homer or seward yeah and they they got all the babies too yep they got everybody back together yeah oh my <laughs> yeah yeah kind of neat uh, what was was it Grubby? I think it was Grubby. Yeah, yeah, they called him Grubby, the possum. Until they had a baby, and then they were 
lots of grubbies. Right, but oh, grubby is kind of a, a dude name. Oh, that's true. Yeah. What's the female version of grubby? Grubita? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Russell R.W. saying, aha, sneaking in an extra live today, huh, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Our, our, our live is usually at 545 on Mondays. Um, we follow up Rob and Sarah at the Kermudgeon. They start at four. And uh, yeah, it's been a weird week as far as lives go because we had a surprise one with Mr. Wilson. And now we're doing this on Sunday. So yeah, that was Thursday night. Yep. Yep. And which which is kind of cool. This isn't how we scheduled this today. Originally, it was going to be on Rebecca's channel. And there was a technical difficulty and so we ended up doing it on our channel yes rebecca here well i i found out that i could have gotten in there but it was like okay let's just go ahead and do it this way yeah no this works us us usually what i what i used to do is i would i can't do this anymore because everybody knows about me is i would go into someone's live and i'd ask their favorite color and everybody was like, why do you want to know my favorite color? Because I wasn't tell I wasn't telling them that I was making a hat for them. Oh, okay. Nice. And then I'd go to their about page to see if their address was there. And if their address or, you know, something wasn't there, then I would go back in and say, can you send me your address? I want to give you something. They still wouldn't know what it was. Right. right. They still wouldn't know. That's when I first started this. And um, I would ship it to them. Nice. Nice. Very nice. You know, so that's how my hats got started because I didn't have a content. It was just a uh, supporter. Right. Right. And I would just ask them what their favorite color was. And then I'd write down everybody's favorite color and make a hat and then okay. ship it to them. Very nice. Steve and Susie's homestead is saying, Susie is watching the grandkids at their house, so it's party night here. Nice. Uh, Jane Doe at Rebecca Touched by Yarn. Got to go and mod. We'll watch the replay. Yeah. You're doing an awesome job, Rebecca. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for being in here, Jane. Yes. <laughs> it takes it takes time to, to make these hats. and This is the first time I've ever been this close, and Everybody's definitely getting to be able to see how this oh, is yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. And Steve is commenting on Phyllis's fishing lures of the day, her <laughs> earrings. Made by Ashley. Yep. These are handmade by Ashley and they are copper and white tail. White tail deer. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty awesome. There. Yeah. So I'm that that thing you were talking about earlier about those that break line that i got was the copper zinc mixed yep i will never have to worry about this again no you won't no nope. the only way you'd have to worry about it is if it got pinched or smashed somehow but uh i've put them on and you know how typical break lines from the factory they have a coating or even if yep. you buy the steel ones they've got that green coating um the NICOP has no coating and it doesn't matter because it won't corrode in the salt or anything like that. Why they don't just do it from the factory. I would gladly pay you an extra 50 bucks to know that I had NICOP lines on my car and would never have to replace them. I think it's more about us buying more cars from them. Oh, more cars and more parts. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of like, Hey, that, that role was pretty expensive it's 25 feet yeah of it and uh i did get the double flare tool i do yeah. have that you know it's so you know how to set that up right that yes, you set it up just the thickness of the head sticking through so yes and the other thing be very cautious when you uh do your double flare uh because the nicop is very soft and you can push it too far and you can actually make it crack and then you'll have a leak so same thing like with copper if you ever did a single flare on copper you got to be gentle. okay um but yeah it's and they make and because they're softer when you tighten them up they are a much better seal than a steel line 
It was really interesting. You've got the, um, on the rear, you've got that uh, brake line that goes to the caliper. Yes. And then it has the shorter piece of metal in between there. And then there's another one that's up further. I'm going to replace the one that's up further. Okay. You know, on that um, rubber yep. line. Yep. There's yeah. two. There's two on the back of this car. Okay. With a steel line in between. Hmm. Yeah, I'd I'd replace any of them if you can. And then um, something a lot of people don't know about brake fluid is brake fluid is hygroscopic. So if you open a can and let it set out, it absorbs water. And once it absorbs water, and then you put it in your car, it rusts your brake lines from the inside out. So. Whenever I do a brake job, I buy only what I need and I discard the rest. Oh, okay. Because it's not sealed properly anymore. Never use some old brake fluid you found on the shelf. And I could show you your hat. Oh, oh my, wow. look at that. Starting to starting to grow now. And... Yeah. Very nice. All right, I'm just saying this is a really pleasant surprise today. Thank you for doing the live. Not a problem. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. Lots of howdies and party night. Clint Gilcrest, the factory, just used as cheap as possible for maximum profits. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can say from working at John Deere, um, <clears throat> the money is in the parts, not in the vehicle. So if you buy the, buy the new truck, it, they don't make that much money on it. However, they make about 100% markup on all the parts. So the parts and service are the money makers to the vehicle. There is only one company that really surprised me, but I can understand why they want to sell individual parts. AutoZone mm -hmm. is the only place I had to do it online because they could not get the, uh, the total kit. First time I had ordered that first kit was just the front rotors and calipers. Okay. Basically, I had to wait for that money to get back to put in the account because, of course, we don't have credit cards. Right. We had to wait to get paid from Social Security. I got a kit that had both all four rotors, hmm. all pads, ceramic. I don't yep. do metallic. Ceramic right. pads and all four calipers. Holy cow. All four of them. That's really nice. For over $500. <clears throat> but yeah. I'm replacing everything. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, we checked out the um, the hubs. They seem to be okay. So okay. I'm not replacing, I'm not replacing the hubs yet. Okay. At least on that, doing the hubs, they have a unitized bearing. So it's honestly, it's three bolts and a tap with a hammer and it just pops out and you pop the new one in. Um, much easier than say a Toyota truck or a uh, anything Toyota, honestly. And I love Toyota, don't get me wrong, but you're not changing a wheel bearing on the side of the road. You need a press. Well, there's, there's also, of course, with this Subaru, it is an all wheel drive. So yep. you have those CV axles going through there and that's taking that big, nut off and then yep. using the pickle fork yep to remove that thing yep yeah and what is that like a 30 millimeter nut or something on there uh, it was like a 20 28 oh sounds I right my friend, i think my friend told me 27 26 27 somewhere around in there okay so Steve is making a nice comment to you here. Rebecca says, so the yarn lady works on vehicles too. If she yes. has a boat and a motor. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh my. Yes, I do. I'm more of a, I guess you could say I'm more of a homesteader. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. You know? So yes, I do work on, on vehicles. Yep. That's awesome. More so, more so Chevrolet. Um, this is my first foreign car I've ever owned. This Subaru is. Okay. I didn't Phyllis realize. Has to use the bathroom quick. So. Outhouse. Oh, outhouse. Yes. Sorry. Outhouse. We okay. don't believe in our. 
Oh, yeah, we don't bathe there. No. We do bathe, just not in the outhouse. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what I don't know what the city of Columbia would do if I put an outhouse outside of my house. <laughs> yeah, I think they frown on that pretty hard. I bet they would. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the the link Maru Nanda for old school Alaska, which is also Ashley Anderson, which is also Mr. Wilson. Dot Wilson Wilson Jr. This is going and, pretty quick. Oh yeah. Clint Gilcrest. I know from working at the dealership I worked at for almost 20 years that the price also depends on which parts guy you deal with. That's a hundred percent true, Clint. Um, I'm a parts guy, shop manager, whatever you want to call me. And um, for really good customers, they get a discount right off the top. And Madunanda is saying, cool, just subscribe to it, to Ashley Anderson. See, and that is what is so cool about these lives. I've been on other lives where they don't like the intercommunication between other channels. They want it to be all about them. And us, on the other hand, and I know Rob is the same way, we encourage that. We encourage that inner conversation and uh, we support other channels as much as possible. Thank you, Maru. Definitely. This is the second of number eight rows. Okay. I have not used cashmere wool yet, but I do have some um, alpaca. Oh, wow. That I am going to be making myself something out of that alpaca. And it's uh, mixed with uh, acrylic. Okay, okay. And it, it's not really a color that I'm crazy about, but it's teal. It's a really dark, beautiful teal. Okay. That I'm going to be making myself a, a different kind of hat that I haven't done yet. It's, oh, more of a, it's more of one that comes over your head and gets closed on the back, and it has a scarf that attaches to it. Oh, my. And has where you can put your hands into that scarf. Oh, that's an awesome idea. I think I've seen some like that. Yeah, it's someone made one and I've got to do that, you know. So I think mm -hmm. it would be really kind of neat to to make that with that um, that yarn. And then I had the thought of making a infinity scarf. Okay. Out of this. You know, out of that um, alpaca yarn that I got that I found in a uh, Facebook marketplace. Oh, my. Is a really good place to go on there and put in yarn. Okay. And you can get really nice yarn from people that don't want their yarn anymore. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I've I got found that. That's where I found that uh, alpaca yarn. Okay. Oh, I've man. got a friend that's forever losing his gloves, and it sounds like a scarf with gloves built into it would be really it's awesome. Just these it's just these pockets okay. yeah, that you can put your hands in. Nice. Russell R.W. is saying, speaking of Toyota trucks, changing the oil on a Tundra is a real pitta. Of course, the genius at Toyota that thought a canister filter system would be a good idea. Yeah, Dodge does the same way on their 3.6 liters. Steve and Susie's homestead is saying, awesome, Ashley. Put the earring video up. Uh, yeah, Rob already did. Okay. Sorry. Madunanda. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the one she was asking because, I, I, you know, I've I've gotten better at keeping an eye on chat. Okay. You know, so that I'm able to see when someone says something to me. Nice. I'm always looking to the, the right and... Most people don't realize this, but uh, I have trifocals. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Can I have my juice? Yes, ma'am, you can. You're very welcome, Scott's Life. You guys are awesome. Yeah, Alp what I found out about alpaca yarn is it has to be put with something else because it doesn't keep its shape very well. Oh, okay. Mm. You know, unlike... Um, I mean, if I ended up getting something that was um, just straight alpaca, 
I would probably put it with a like a merino wool. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Yes, alpaca oh. is very soft. What's your recommendation on this, Rebecca? RM is asking, would you recommend just hand wash the hats and air dry? Uh, this, because it being acrylic, it could be put in the dryer, but I would suggest that it uh, be put on low. Okay. You know, like on a, a knit. My brother's taking the, my boys out. I have two dogs that are over 100 pounds. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, they're both lab mixes and they're big mm -hmm. oh, I hear them there they go. <laughs> uh, Steven oh. Susan Somestead is saying people one last time alpaca spit in your face please stop making videos of yourself getting in their face right <laughs> I think llamas are more apt to do that than what alpacas would Oh, okay. And they're the are a little are a little bit more sweeter, but you should you should really never look, you know, like our animals, like our dogs. Mm -hmm. They know us. We can look into their eyes, but that's a challenge to some dogs. You know, looking straight into a dog's eyes is a challenge from any any dog. Yep. You don't do that. You look to the side. Yep. You know. And there, Ashley is sharing the link to the earring video where he made Phyllis's earrings. Clint does Gilchrist. He do, does, he do, does he tie flies? I don't know if he does or not. It sounded like he knows how. Yeah, but... we just learned last year. Um, and that's actually kind of like what you're doing, making the hat. I found it really kind of fun to do at night. You know, when it's 40 below out and there's nothing else to do, we can sit here and tie a half a dozen flies. Yeah. Because it seems like you break them off almost as fast as you can make them. So <laughs> that's I've I've watched those videos of them tying a fly and it's like, oh, my gosh, that looks so involved. You got to wrap that yarn, you know, the string around the uh, thing you're using glue and. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty neat. You got a lot of special tools. Um, yes. And how do you know that, Steve? You, you've you've actually had that done to you. That's awful. Yes, <laughs> I'll spit back at him. LOL. <laughs> oh my. And Marunanda has to go. Party people. Well, thank yes. you for being in here. Thank you yep. for coming. Yep, you are awesome as always. I will definitely, I will definitely check out the channel of the people that have joined my family. Oh, absolutely. Yep, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, assuming you work tomorrow. I've got to find that born on date on those tires to see when, because the people sat that car since 2019. Okay. When the brake lines went bad. Uh, okay. he, he did, he did start it once a month and let it run. Okay. You know, so I wasn't too, too worried about it not moving, you know, no. and it has moved. It's, you know, and things like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. You just want to get up on all that maintenance and stuff. I know Phyllis just got a little Toyota truck and. First thing I'm doing is treating it like it's never had maintenance done. And first thing I pulled out was the air filter and it's supposed to be white and it was the color of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. My my air filter was really clean. No, oh, it was. Good. It was. Okay. You know, oil oil, of course, is gonna get changed. And I'm putting um my father always believed in Valvoline Max Life. Okay. And that's, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be that's what I'm gonna be using. Oh. I know it. It never did say that if it was a full synthetic that car, and I really uh, don't like. I don't like a full synthetic, really. Yeah, I think a synthetic blend is always a little bit safer, especially on older vehicles. Um, sometimes that full synthetic can mess with things like rear main seals. Um, new vehicles have higher quality seals in them, and it doesn't really affect them. 
but everything we run in all of our semi tractors at work, it's all a synthetic blend 15W40. Steve is saying this is so relaxing and time flies. It is. The only way it'd be better is if we had it up on the on the TV, the bigger screen. That would be kind of nice. Right. Russell RW, I tied flies in high school. I have a whole bunch of supplies left. I heard Sheep Creek Lodge has a fly tying night and was going to send a bunch to them. That's an awesome idea. Yeah. Yeah, Sheep Creek Lodge, if you've ever been to Alaska and haven't been there, I would really suggest going. It is your typical gorgeous hand-hewn log lodge. Um, really a beautiful place. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely... Even when I had my truck and all my other vehicles, I always did a um, the Max Life, Valvoline yep. Max Life. Yep, I, I've used it, especially on older vehicles. And Rob is saying this is maybe the first live that Adam has not gotten a look, but we still have time. <laughs> he put him on the cup. He put him on the that coupler thing. And brought the brought the dogs oh, yeah. in. Control them. Oh. You can control them instead of them running through the house. Oh yeah. You know it's when you. They, I think they call them a brace. You know where you. You know it's a it's a thing that you can walk two dogs or three dogs. Oh okay. You know that he went out and grabbed that and put on their collars and walked them in. Oh okay. Yeah, and Clint yeah. Gilchrist is saying that he would definitely replace the tires if they've sat for that long. Yeah. Well, I may not be able to do that until next month because okay. they're going to, you know, I'm I'm praying that everything will work okay for me to go down to Oklahoma, but I'm not going to be going real fast. But yeah, it's replacing all four of those tires. And you have to with, a front, with an all-wheel drive car. Yes, you do. I don't have over $400 for no. tires right and something that a lot of people forget about they they the most important tire on their car is their spare tire mm -hmm. and if you've got a car that's say from the 90s and that tire is still under that car i guarantee you that tire is not good if it holds air um <clears throat> it's going to be just long enough to get to a gas station and get your tire repaired or replaced there is a donut inside of my car Oh. I'm going to go find, I am going to go find a full size rim yep. and put that in that area. Yeah. Especially on a Subaru. If you run a donut on one, you're really messing with that differential. And uh, I've seen them actually get hot enough that it'll blow oil out and it can even start a fire. So wow. Subarus have to have full size tires on there. Why in the heck would they put a donut in that? I do. What? There comes Frank. He's <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> like, get me out of here. Okay. Oh. It's like just doing what I got to do. So I'm on number six row. The second one. So I've got only 10 rows to go. Oh my. Okay. And there's my brother talking. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get started on those um those brake lines for the for the car and get it fixed and okay. Um tomorrow I don't really want to go outside because of that eclipse. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, people are making I've got to get those. I've got to get those pieces that put it together. I did not get those yet. Okay. Do you do you remember what size brake line? See, this mm. is the thing that this is the thing that he used. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So then they kind of keep each other in check. What? The dogs when they're walking. well, he he basically put them together on that, and then he put them by he. he Pass it behind him so that they would walk behind him to go back to his. They're in the bedroom. Oh, okay. You know, I don't have them up here in the living room because they, if they hear someone, they'll start barking. And it's like, hey, I need quiet. 
Okay. Put them on alive. I don't want the dogs doing things. And you mean like ours? Lovely. Yes. <laughs> okay. Our son is just coming. Home. Yes. Doggos. Now our dogs will get your dogs all wound up. That's why we always, yeah, we always hide the squeaky balls before a live because what we found is that our dogs start squeaking and then everybody that's on the channel, they hear that squeaky ball and their dogs all go nuts. So, yes, we do our best. Yeah. In all, I have to, all I have to do is if the dogs do something is snap my finger and they're like, oh, Okay. That's, they they know that means knock it off. Oh, definitely. And Ed is putting out an important reminder, which I didn't realize it was coming that soon. April 15th, the studded tires have got to come off in Alaska, or they will fine you for every stud that's in the tire. That's great. That means I gotta do that. Oh. There was there was one time uh, that when I was married. I'm, of course, not now. And no, I am not looking. <laughs> I am not looking. <laughs> yes, please bring her back. This is her hat. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here like I'm by myself. I'm like, hey, where's Phyllis? Oh, oh, she's right there. And Jean Diggs History is in here saying hello there. I own a Subaru. Nice. Mine is a Subaru Legacy L station wagon. It's a 2002 <laughs> Okay. So and how many miles? 209. Okay. 204. Maybe it's 204. Okay. I was really surprised because I seen this label on the air breather and it showed this timing thing and I didn't know what it was. Oh, okay. I was like, what's that tag doing there on that air breather? I didn't know what it was. And it had some numbers on it, and it was Joe. He says they changed your not your timing belt at 190 something thousand miles. No one, good. I yeah. was happy. Yeah, definitely. I was really happy so that they had changed it because I was really worried about driving that thing to um, Oklahoma. That is at the end of this month. Oh right, right. Yeah, that's a very good thing. Whenever you buy a timing belt for a car, it comes with a sticker that says date and mileage. And you're always supposed to put that either. I've seen them in two places. Under the hood is the best. Um, sometimes they'll open the glove box door and they'll stick it there as well. Yeah, but, they put on the, the air breather is right at the back and it was right on top. Nice. I just didn't I just didn't know what that that belt with those pulleys was. I'd never seen hmm. something like that. So I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And Steve and Susie's homestead is saying, according to YouTube, the world will end tomorrow. Okay. No, it won't. No. No. No, it's a big nothing burger, I'm sure. <laughs> if it does get weird, I'm going to Robin Sarah's. Right. So you're going to come around here and show your, your beautiful face that he hurt. He got himself hurt. Come on, Ronald. Come here. Uh oh. He oh, fell. Oh, oh, goodness. Is yeah, and this, Come on. let me get no, it. Oh, the camera is over here, Ronald. There, you got oh, there. there, and the back of his hand and oh, his knee. The knee I can't show. No, but no. <laughs> it is no. really warm. Huh. Huh. He's got a big. The whole area is bruised on the knee. He Darn. was running to catch the bus, and the edge of a sidewalk was raised. Oh. oh, yeah, and the tape that I had got damaged, but I cannot figure out where to get a case for the tape to go inside of the actual case that the tape goes inside of. Them okay. little things that they use to make them work. Mm. Okay, oh. I just don't know where to go for it. But when I put case, it uh, comes up with the things that you put the tape inside of, not what I'm thinking of. Okay. But uh, I'll figure out something to get it to work because I, oh, put, yeah. I put the tape in and it ejected it immediately because it's locked 
and they can't unlock it because the inner guts are all over the place. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. In Michigan, they outlawed studded snow tires? Yep. Yeah, I think in uh, Wisconsin as well, they were they were outlawed. Um, and the only time I'd ever even seen them was, uh, I think I had a, I, I bought a, an old gravity box or something that had tires from like the 60s on it. And they had studs in them. Uh, in Alaska, they're a huge thing. And uh, I mean, this winter, I drove a Toyota Camry all winter to work, a little front wheel drive car. And I plowed snow over the hood multiple times, but I've got studded snow tires. It wasn't because you were driving too fast that the snow no, came up over no, the No, there's hood. no chance of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> snow means go. Right. Oh, yeah, totally. I remember that Y2K. That was for sure going to be the end of the world. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even break it. Huh. Nice. I. We kind of, you know, okay. you remember those, those drills, you know, the ones yeah. that you, you had a handle. We got one of those. Really? Yes. I'm a kid. I still have it. They work. It's just a lot more work. <laughs> yes, it is. Let me see what. So let's see. Oh, if goes up, there we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Got one more for a 4. And then 6 more. This is going pretty quick. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that that... Um, that motor for the, the fan that keeps the car cool works because we haven't had. Yes, it is it is it is amazing because once I get into this section, I only have to count just a, a little bit to finishing it. It's on the band that you got to make sure you don't overdo it. Uh. I, I just measured the uh, bruise to the <laughs> upper part of the knee. And it covers this big area. Oh, my. Yeah. It's huge. It covers it. You know where you have your cap at the bottom? It's not there, but it goes uh, to the side, to the top, and to the side. Oh. It doesn't go down. It's uh, right at the end of the cap, and then it just goes up from there. Did you hit the back of that, yeah. brother? Yeah. Or was the cat jumping on it? I was hitting it. <laughs> oh, okay, I was like, what in the heck? <laughs> now we're going to have to see the cat. Oh, yes. Well, he'll get he'll get BB. He's laying over there on his cat tree. There's Gigi. He's going to... We'll definitely show you our cats and... I have pictures on my YouTube channel that has Blue on his birthday, eating his birthday breakfast. Oh, nice. And then I have a, a little video of Denver. Oh, my God. You're going to wait, please. He wants to show Gigi. I know. Net -net Ronald, no. please wait. I know you want to show her. She's a beautiful cat. Hmm. Let's yeah. see here. Here's Gigi. Oh. This is my girl. Look at all the fuzz. Yes. There you go. Take the girl. Oh, hey. That's that's I just hope so. she's a medium medium haired. Yeah. Little 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 cat. So There's six a... more six more rows on here and let's this thing her, will be done. Let's give her nice. some food. She didn't get very big. That's to make up for the cat. We had, we had. <laughs> oh like, yeah! Wait until you see Gigi or BB. He is big. Is he orange? Black. No, black. Oh, okay. He's black. 
Because when we left Wisconsin, our orange cat was 22 pounds. Wow. Yeah. That's a big cat. That's a lot of cat to snuggle. Because most of my yarn is in my bedroom, I don't let the cats in my room. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not G-I-G-I. -G -I, it's just G, two large Gs. And it means gray girl. Oh. Yeah, they think it's, everybody thinks it's G-I-G-I. -G -I. No. It's just G-G. -G. He'd want to stick his claws in you. I uh, know, Ronald. Just be patient, please. <laughs> be patient, and I'll. Yeah, we can wait. We can wait on on BB. Yeah. Right. Because I'll when he when me. he comes when he comes over here and he wants to be with me, he he uses his claws in my leg like I want up now. Oh. He is going. Steve and Susie's 22 pounds. What did you feed it? Taco Bell? No, um, I think if he ate Taco Bell, he probably would have been a lot thinner. But he was just a, a free feed cat and he ate all of it. Now could, I mean, Maine Coons, he could have Maine Coon in him. Because, of course, yeah. we don't know what the genetics of... Um, BB is he was a, a feral cat that lived in a barn and brought him home and I was going to get the these feral cats fixed. Well, BB got out of the cage. I had them in large dog crates with a cat litter in box in there that was 48 by 30 by however tall. And he got out one night and I'm like, where is this wild cat in my house? You hit. Well, how do you think I caught him? Food. Live bait trap in my house. Oh. <laughs> because I had no other food out. Right. Uh, he ended up, I put tuna on a plate in that. And he went in and got caught. And after I got him fixed, I decided to keep him. No. Because I knew he would be a good mouser in my house. Oh, yeah. And he has been. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any. Well, that's, that's, why I, that's why I have these two cats. Yeah. This is getting done. Wow. Yay. Six, six, 38. Wow. Hey, this is a lot of fun making these hats. It is, and it's fun to watch, too. Oh, Gigi's crawling on something. She's over here now. She's crawling in behind the, the desk. Let her catch those, those mice. He, he tends to, BB tends to want to play with them. Oh, yes. Gigi just takes care of it. Ah. Why does the male want to play with the cat? With the rodents in my house. Just <laughs> take care of it. What all did I miss? Uh, there's some Taco Bell. Well, I oh was talking about Lester and somebody asked what we fed him. And it was a Taco Bell. <laughs> no, he would have <laughs> been a skinny cat. Right? Then. <laughs> That's what I said. He was not a skinny cat. <laughs> Russell O.R.W. Wow, how ironic, Clint. I just visited the room most people visit after going to that place whose name we shall not mention. <laughs> nice. That's a lot of words. <laughs> do, you, do you have um, Chipotle? No, I don't think so. I have no idea. We just ate at Red Robin yesterday. That was That was good. Yeah, you finally got the crispy chicken salad. salad. And then I was full until bedtime. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. What is he doing out there? He's trying to park the trailer. I told oh, him. Oh, this might be a while. Yeah. <laughs> I told him to park it next to the camper. 
so it'll let that spot dial oh, up by the, okay. by the shed. Five more now. Oh, man. She got to see how big my bruise was. Take your thumb and... Each person it, has different length fingers. I know, index, index fingers and put them together side by side, and that's how big the bruise is. Oh, it's a my. Big, big you bruise. My, as you see my hands, I've got really long fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it starts at the bottom of the knee and works to the side oh. and the upper part of the knee. I I used I used to like going to Chipotle, but not anymore. I'd rather I would rather cook my food at home, because yeah. you know exactly you know exactly what you have in it. Right. Agreed. You know. Um. Yes, Russell. Oh, I've heard of them. Chepos. Uh, Charlene keep, keeps telling me to go to Chepos, and we just I don't know why we never have. What I end up doing is see, I just put five down. Okay. So that tells me I have after this one I'll have four more to do. So that's how I, I keep I keep account of oh, okay, okay. <coughs> oh, his truck is gray. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. How did those tires do up in the pass, I wonder? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Sydney just took Phyllis's little Honda 4 tracks 300 up in Hatcher's Pass, where there's still a good four feet of snow. Um, sounds like it went pretty good. They got stuck once or twice, but had a good time. It's a beautiful day for it here. Wow. Yeah. As you can see behind my head, it's actually sun shining and charging up the batteries as we speak. I was going to say, it's probably reflecting off the panels right now. Adam, you, he did pretty good. I'd say he did pretty good. Yeah. Considering where it's parked, it's in and around corners. And whoops. Yes. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no, he already, he did better than I would have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She'd probably have to go back in town to get gas. You know, this is really <laughs> interesting on, on doing it this way of having it where we're up closer. This yep. definitely works a lot better for people to be able to see what I'm doing. Well, yeah. and I know some people actually, they have this up on their big screen TV too, Rebecca. So it'd be really easy for them to see it that way. And Brent Freeze let, let, let me show you something. I, I'm not sure if, I know I changed it. I don't know if I changed it on here. Yes, it is there. That is the avatar that Critter Creek did huh. for me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, Isn't that pretty? Very yeah. nice. He did a, I'll show it again. He did a caricature of me. Nice. Yeah, I like that. That's <laughs> awesome. Like, it was like, whoa. And I see we've got Brun Free in here. So we've got an Australian in here watching a, a hat build. And Brun, if you don't know, this is our friend Rebecca. Her channel is Rebecca Touch by Yarn. I know that uh, I think it was Rob put a link to her channel in there. There you got a hello yes. from Brun. Yes. Hello, Brun. I uh, was like, he really did a great job. Yeah, very yeah. nice. The, the video, I made him a, a Santa hat and sent it to him. And on his video, he did this thing as a picture's worth a thousand words. Sure. And he didn't quite understand what the whole thing was about in these hats. So he would come over and watch lives that I would do and make someone's hat. And then finally he got a, a Santa hat. And I mean a Santa hat made by me. And the video that he did absolutely blew my mind. He had taken a picture that someone had taken when I was at the first meetup in Oklahoma. That every, not everyone brought their hats, but most of the people that brought their hats. I have a picture that someone took that was sent to me. 
And when I make a hat, usually when I do the thumbnail, I use that picture. And it's a picture with me with a whole bunch of people behind me of hats that I've made. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. You know, as my, as my thumbnail that I end up using. Well, that's awesome. And he did, what he did is he took, made puzzle pieces out of that picture and put it together on oh. his, on his uh, thing that he did for me. You know, mm -hmm. on uh, Critter Critter Creek. Okay. okay. Let me go and watch his video. That was, I was mind blown. I was like, oh my gosh, you really outdid yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, RM has a question for you. Does that little hand tool come along with the loom or by separate? It's, it, it does. I have other ones that I usually use sometimes that have two, two pegs that you could hook these over with two, but I... I'm not used to doing it with that way, but yes, they, they do come with it. Hmm. Okay. The one that usually comes with those looms is it's a little bit thinner and you can see this one's a lot thicker, so it doesn't bend so much and, and break. Oh, okay. I have broken, I have broken hooks. So this is a hook that I bought. Okay. Very nice. Looks like Scott's life must have seen that video, Rebecca. He did. I'm okay. pretty sure he did. Very nice. It's just like, oh my goodness, it was so uh, so amazing. But yeah, usually the hooks that they have aren't as thick as this one is. Okay. And there's Rob over at Kerm Kermudge saying, gosh darn you, Ashley Anderson, sitting next to me, and he still beats me with the posting links off his phone. <laughs> Ash is amazing on a phone, I tell you. Do you have an Android or an iPhone? I think he's got an Android. Android. We're iPhones, but I'm I'm an Android phone user. Yeah. In fact, I have I have two phones. This is a good question here, Rebecca. RM is saying it would be cool to watch the hat process from your first person perspective. So if you had oh. a GoPro, if you were like wearing a GoPro either on your chest or on your head where they could actually see what you're seeing. That would be, that would be cool. That would be very cool. That's a very interesting idea. You know, because that would be right here. I mean, there's, there's ones that you can put on your chest of your, your phone, you know, using yep. your phone. Yeah. That I could, I could end up doing that too. Yeah. That is a cool idea. That is a great idea. Steve is saying, I remember making pot holders on a little loom when I was a kid. Came with these stretchy loop things. Yep. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 11, 12. Nice. When the loom was full, it was a G.I. Joe trampoline. That's awesome. Nice. I have one more row. Oh, oh my. boy. We're almost done. <laughs> Ashley, glad you know, Adam. I still don't know <laughs> what I have. <laughs> oh, Rob told me earlier. That's how I know. Rob is saying he's on a droid, but it's not the droid I'm looking <laughs> for. I'm on a MacBook Air. Nice. I, I don't have I don't have a, a one of those. GoPros. Oh, okay. I haven't even priced one. Hmm. I think Rob's got one. He would probably give you, though. I wouldn't trust it for very right. Long. <laughs> <laughs> about, about thirty seconds till it shuts itself off. Yeah, overheats. My favorite number is twenty-six. So that's usually I do the hats in in twenty-five, but I figure hmm. I may as well give my favorite number. Nice. <clears throat> and with your, you don't have long hair, do you? Ooh. No, I definitely don't. No, no I'm no. talking. Yeah. Oh. It's, oh. Yeah, it's Phyllis is pretty long. Kind of long. long. You want a public de thing? I can do it myself. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's there. Oh, I think okay. when it's down, it's mid back. Yeah. My my hair's really thick. 
once I get done with the hat, because I know there's a lot of people out there that have my hair in their hat. No, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's, that's why I pull, that's why I pull it back so that. So you don't spin your hats; you just put your own hair right into it. <laughs> well, I don't want to, but it happens. <laughs> it's extra warm. Steve is asking, are we bidding on this hat before she can send it? To <laughs> you get your well, personal that is hat also, if you want I, one. That's a good idea, though. Yeah. It's going for target practice. Nice. Nice, nice. So I'm not going to have you guys sit here and watch me do his hat. It's going to be black. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I do. See this string? That's the one I've been working with. Is you make a loop. You put it over the peg. And you pull it over. Then you take it off the peg. Okay. Now bring this down so you guys can watch. Okay. Put it over, hook it over, pull it up, take it off. So that's what you're going to do all the way around on this. Oh, okay. And that's how it's done. See how it's coming off of here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's, that's how thing. you that's how you end up doing it. The the way they taught me the first time is you would cut off a section of yarn to feed through with a needle on each peg. This way you're not wasting a bunch of yarn having that loop. Sure. Hmm. Seems like it'd probably be more durable too. It is. Uh, the people have told me that my hats haven't come apart because of the insane tying that I do at the top of this. No. <laughs> Even when they wash them, they, they say that they're not coming apart. Nice. Well, that's good. Because my hats get washed frequently because they're they're worn all the time. And of course, I have to make sure that I'm getting each one off of here. You know, going to the next one and not skipping one. Yeah. But yeah, that's how the hats. What happened? <laughs> I know what you did. You had that thing there. And but yeah, yeah it's I just, just went, to a, I went to a smaller comment. That way it doesn't cover what you're doing. Yeah. And I have to move this out of the way because I don't want to cover that one up. Okay. This company might go back in business now all of a sudden. Right? I see all the interest in one. So now everybody. No, are, there, are there the hell on the pegs? <laughs> what? Are there grooves on the pegs that you're writing? Yes, your there, yes, there is. There's a there's a, a line as you can see there. Okay. I will get I will bring it up closer so you can see that once I get the hat off. So it's it's basically you put it over and then you're able to bring that in through there. So there's a little there's scratches on here. Mm-hmm. Ronald? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go back to the bedroom and get the other looms that I usually use? And uh, so I can show them the, the difference between how wide the ones that they make now. Because there's definitely a, a big difference because this one is a lot tighter. And everybody has said every time they've gotten one of my hats, oh, they are so warm. Nice. And I'm pretty sure that because the, I'm thinking this is the same yarn that I use to make yours, Rob, and, and Sarah's. But I put a different, another color with it. Okay. You know, another, like a four-ply yarn. This is a five. 
No, oh, okay. Safe trip, Ashley. Yeah, definitely. And here's the last one coming off. And what I do, I'm going to set that over to the side. Is I put my fingers in here, where that is, and you pull it down. Okay. See how it's making that smaller? Yep. yep. And then I get my my scissors, and I cut this off. I'm going to show you a, a little scissors that I have that... See how it's curved? Oh. Yeah. Oh, sure. This one, I think these are for, I trim my brother's mustache with this. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't poke him. Right. Yeah. It's a blunt, it's a blunt end. Safety scissors. Yeah. Safety, they're safety scissors. Those things cost me a whole bunch, a whole bunch of money to get sharpened. So oh, what I you bet. end up, what you end up doing is you take these two and I put my fingers in there. I turn it inside out. I take this one over the top of the other one. And you pull it down. You pull it down again. What I end up doing is, if, do you want a pom-pom on this? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I, might make you, I might make you want a, a different color than the gray. It'll probably be something that's really cute. Okay. But, and what I do is I put that down through there. So I'm not going to okay. tie it the rest of the way and it'll, it'll be tied really good. But that's her, her hat. That looks awesome. great. <clears throat> that yep. looks very nice. There you are. Yep. Now I can show you the, the difference between these. He brought, this one is one that I use sometimes. Okay. But now you're going to be able to see the difference. If you look at the purple and you look at this one, see how much wider? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's much wider apart. This is much closer than these ones. This is the 42. Okay. And when I've made hats with the 42, it's not big enough. It's just not. You know, huh. they're smaller. Okay. So I'd, love to have, I'd love to have some more 48s. Okay. Well, you got Phyllis. We'll be keeping an eye out for some for you. Yeah. And this is also 42. This, okay. As you can see, the difference in in the size. Let me see if I can do this. See how that one fits inside of that one? Yep. yep. Yeah. There's, definitely that's a almost, big, there's a definite big difference between. Yeah, that's almost like a true difference. This one is much, this one's much wider than that. Okay. And Brun Free is saying, Rebecca, you are so talented and passionate about your skill. It's wonderful. It's very wonderful. You know, so. But let me show you the other thing that she's going to be getting. I learned how to make these little, oh, Susan Herb and Buckets here. I am so happy you're here. But yeah, that's that's Phyllis's hat, and I'm going to be making one of these for her. Oh, awesome! Thank <laughs> you. you. Know? Very nice. I like that. Yeah. You know, it, um, now you guys are going to get to see my long hair, and it's fluffy. Yeah. Had no well, idea yeah. that I had hair that long, <laughs> did you? <laughs> nice. <sighs> now I'll put this one on. This one's mine. This was the very first one that I made. Okay. That is very nice. And you made it on that same loom, right? A uh, different one. It's, oh, a smaller, okay. it's a smaller one. Okay. Now pull it around. <laughs> trying to figure out how to do this. There we go. But yeah, this is my, the one I wear when I don't want a hat, but I want something for my ears and it's a little bit cold. Yeah, it's like whistle, whistle. Yeah, long hair. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I, I pull my hair back when I'm making these hats. But yeah, Rob's, I mean, um, Adam's hat will yep. be done the same way. 
And it's going to be this black. Nice. nice. Hi, E.G. wife. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. RM oh. was asking that same question if it's on the same loom. Do you have the loom there be. that you make the headband on? What? Do you have the loom there that you make the headband on? Yes. It's this loom. Oh. Uh, the headband, yes, I do. It's not that one. It's this one. Oh. Oh, a lot smaller. Yeah. Okay. A lot smaller. Okay. It's this one that I make the the headband on. That is awesome. But yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna make a whole bunch of, of these these bands mm -hmm. uh to go to Oklahoma. But you'll be getting one of them out of this same yarn. Oh, great. okay. Very nice. But yeah, that's I'm finished now, except for making yours. And awesome. I didn't know how long you wanted to stay here, and because that's another two hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, yeah. at least I got to see one hat made, and yeah, that's awesome, Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. I like the way they're made. Oh yeah. 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 Kind of interesting how these hats, these bands are made. I I really like this, you know, and I don't want to wear a hat. Yeah. That's awesome. There you go. Yeah. Ren would wear one in Australia to keep her ears warm. And I know on a lot of her videos, it's really windy. Yeah. So that would definitely keep the wind out of there. It, it would. Definitely does. I just love how... Yes, I, I love blessing people. My mother loves blessing people. And, and that's what this is all about. Just, you know, how many people... Uh, usually on the, the, this one, I think was a, a 24 peg, but I feel that this doesn't give your ear enough coverage because I kept feeling it coming off of me. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try another, another loom, but, uh, like I said, I'm going to be probably making bands also, uh, you know, with my hair being so thick, it right. pushed it, it kind of pushed it off. Okay. You know, E.G. Wife made us some fur hats earlier. That would be kind of cool if you could get on board with her and make her a headband. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, especially for the boat rides. I know what you mean. Yeah. And it's yeah, always windy on the rivers. Well, remember when we were riding motorcycle and you this right here would go numb, right? Right above your eyes. It goes numb and a headband is perfect. Definitely. Yeah, there's lots of, definitely lots of people I have, um, I have blessed, you know, that didn't realize what I was doing for them. And, you know, it just, it makes things nice. It, it gives me something to do when I can't work. You know, it's, it keeps me busy. You know, right. Doing something. You know, this is really a nice soft hat. These are very, the, uh, the yarn is a very soft yarn. Okay. That I use, I think it's um, Karen. Yeah, that's what you said earlier. I think it is. I think it is Karen. This brand of of yarn and uh, Ronald. Yes. Do you want to get up in that container and I'll show them what it it looks like and you know, you know that skein that these came off of. But yeah, I make almost uh, out of one of these hats. What I sometimes do is I'll make a band. Okay. And then I'll use a different colored yarn here. And then I match the the band to the pom-pom. Okay. Come here, baby girl. If you want to bring me back further, this is Gigi. Oh, oh the kitty. <clears throat> she don't like to really show her face. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is this is this is Gigi. This, this is what you want, huh? Fluffy tail. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is nice, kitty. This is what you want, right? Yes. Okay. This is this is the one that. Oh. Oh wow. That's how this one is, and you see where it says, "One hat." Yeah. Yeah. I'm able because of this. I'm able to make almost three hats out of wow. one of these. That's great. That's very good. You know, so, but yeah, I've got this. I've got one that's called rice, which is kind of a, an off-white. 
there you go and i've got more black but yeah this is this is a pretty <laughs> pretty girl nice sweetie kitty. yeah she's a lot lighter than bb is bb's big yeah you're okay baby girl yeah it is starting to warm up here it is it is finally starting to warm up slowly uh, slowly Seems like we get like two inches of snow and then it warms up during the day and then two inches of snow and it warms up. So we're kind of stuck in this cycle, but right. I don't know. I, I don't know how many years I have to live here before I can actually predict what the weather is going to be. Thank basically. you, Bron. Yes. She's, a, she's a very pretty. She's, she's, so, she's so much littler than what um, BB is. Oh, she doesn't BB. like. Okay. Bye -bye. Here we go. <laughs> She wanted. Mm -hmm. She let me know. She wanted to yep. leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like you reached your time limit with Kitty there. Right. Yeah, she's. She likes to lay on Ronald. Okay. RM says thank you for the inspiration, Rebecca. That sparks thank you hope. for being here. Yeah, it sparks hope for me. Now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna show you. I've got a picture on here on my on my phone. Mm. Of that blanket. Let's see. There it is. Oh, there it is. This is the seashell stitch. Oh, oh my. That is fluffy. Holy very cow. Or poofy. Or, I don't, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's very neat. Yeah, that's one of the, the blankets that I made. Here's a, here's another one. Now you're you're gonna I'm gonna try to get this as small as I can because you're gonna see my feet. Oh. <laughs> I was on my bed making this one. This one went to uh, Eagles Trekker. Oh it's just a simple uh crochet stitch that I, I did for his blanket. Hmm. Nice. Oh, you don't want to stay. Whoops. And this is you okay, brother? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else come. here. Looking through my pictures. Oh, I do have a picture of the scrubbies that I'm going to be taking. I need to see if I can get that turned down. Oh, oh there, there you go. go. Wow. I have a hundred of these made. Um, Mountain Mariner needs some of those. Yeah. He definitely wow. seemed interested. <laughs> Man, he is big. <laughs> Ronald, you're bringing BB to me? No. He's a big cat. I just majored him. Oh. <laughs> and go from here to here with his tail. From here, from his fingers to his arm to here. Oh. And, he's, and he's two of these wide. <laughs> <laughs> That's, awesome. oh, That's him it. laying on the ground all spread out. Hmm. That's great. <laughs> He's huge. I couldn't believe he go. was that large. Hmm. Yeah. I am so so happy you did this today. And oh, yeah. yeah. It's well, been great. I'm sorry yeah. that it took four months to actually get to this point, Rebecca. <laughs> right. Well, you'll you'll still be able to wear the hats a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Till about you know? July. Yeah, till about July here we'll be wearing them. And then we'll probably be wearing them on the ocean dip netting. If it's breezy at all. Yeah. Okay. I got to go uh, fish for salmon in in the ocean when I was 16. Oh, oh. Nice. It was the very last time that I went fishing. Oh. I have a story to tell, and it is the truth. Because <laughs> my oldest sister, if she ever gets on here with me, would be able to tell you that is the truth. I laid down on the bed in my dad's fishing boat. He had a commercial fishing boat that he built. Hmm. And I went and laid down on the bed on the front 
What happens when you lay on a bed that's doing this? Yeah, you're going to get seasick. Yep. So oh. I went out the back of the boat and I up chucked. Yeah. And my dad had this deep sea fishing pole off the back. And something took that line and was like, zoom. Oh. He handed me, he set the hook. And then I brought that fish in. It was a Chinook salmon. Wow. That was three feet long. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Because of my ex-brother-in-law, there is a, you know, in boats, they have the section that's down lower. Mm -hmm. He didn't put it there. Oh. He put oh. it on top where that edge was. Oh, no. I so never you know, got to hold my fish. No. I never got to get a picture with the fish. Oh, it was the only salmon that we called all day. So my dad didn't get paid that day. Oh. I wanted to throw him in the ocean. <laughs> I haven't fished since. Yeah. Wow. And I need to, I need to erase that bad. <laughs> that bad erase. Yeah. So, so do, you, do you think you caught that fish because you were chumming for it <laughs> after you were seasick? <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I do. I got my lunch. I mean, you literally gave your all at that point to get yeah. that fish. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I did. Holy cow. That yeah, is that awesome. thing was huge. And I'm like, yeah, my, I, I says, can I throw him in, Dad? I want my fish. And Dad says, no, you'd be arrested. Oh, my. And even his wife wanted to throw him in. <laughs> Sister. They're yeah. not married anymore. She wanted huh. to in also. Hmm. I mean, there was this this area on this boat. It was a it was a 40 foot U boat. So you know those are deep. Yeah. yeah. That floor is down deep. Why would he put it up here yeah. and not down here? I'm like, Dang. yeah. Oh, yeah. We better not do anything like that. No, definitely no. not. Holy cow. And well, I, I need I need to go fishing. I don't have any fishing poles. I need to go fishing to erase that bad memory. Yep. You yeah. know, I'm always going to remember it, but I need to catch another fish and be able to hold it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then later on, be able to cook it. And be able to cook it. Yes. I love catfish. I love salmon more, but I don't know if I'm ever going to get that close to the ocean again. Yeah. To be able to do says that. you blessed that fish. <laughs> yeah. It went back in. I was like, so. It was my 16th birthday. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah, it was on my it was on my 16th birthday. Holy. And that God. happened. Hmm. So you're. I'm always going to remember that, but. You know, oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I think we're going to uh, give you a huge shout out and a thank you for this, Rebecca. Absolutely. Um, thank you. Really appreciate not only what you've done for us, but what you do for others yes. um, quite selflessly. Um, and that is the way we all should kind of inspire to be. Um, yeah. That's what makes this kind of a special live for us to do. Um, yeah. So thank you and thank your brother. And um, your kitties, right? And my dogs, <laughs> and your dogs. dogs. Yes. Yep. Um, and I definitely wish you the best on getting your car all ready to go for your long trip. And, it will. <clears throat> yeah, I think be, I want to be wish so much fun. I'm gonna do some work on my car and oh, heck oh, yeah. wow. learn how to learn how to take uh, e what is it e brake? Yep. You know, off this car. It's going okay. to be fun. Well, you've got my number. Love you, love you, Steve and Susie. Thank you for coming. Yep. If you Go ahead this. and, and uh, I want to talk to you guys in the back. Okay. Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being in here and watching this live today. We really appreciate it and hope you have a blessed rest of your Sunday. And don't yep. let the eclipse get you. Right. <laughs> <laughs>